Good afternoon, folks. How's everybody doing today? Heading home, sitting in traffic again. I saw a post while ago on TikTok from you. Another patriotic uh, American. Wish I could remember his name. I went back and tried to find it because I reposted the video he made and commented on the video uh, and whatnot because that's what he asked us to do. Uh, but I couldn't find it. Man, I, I, videos you repost and whatnot are saved on your TikTok or whatever anyway. He, uh, he put a challenge out to everybody. All fellow Americans, conservatives, Republicans, doesn't matter who you are, he put a challenge out there to you. And uh, I'm going to carry on that challenge going off of what he put out there today. And uh, it's one word. And this challenge goes out to anybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you were born here, if you migrated here, if you're a Republican, Democrat, conservative, it doesn't matter. It's a free country. Uh, you know, we've got the freedom of speech. We've got uh, the freedom to do pretty much what we want, freedom of speech, right to keep and bear arms. So uh, I'm going to carry on the challenge that young man started, and I'm going to put this out there in one word, America. You see this video? You uh, like, comment, share it, repost it, whatever you need to do, and you, you, you comment what America means to you. And let's see how far we can go with this. Let's see how many people support the idea of a free America. Let's see how many people support the idea of not bowing down and bending over backwards to kiss the government's ass anymore. Let's see how many people, how many of the 98% of the American people are sick and tired of the bullshit that we're putting up with from every corner of the world. Let's just see how far this goes. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm putting out there today. I'm carrying on the challenge that young man put out. I'm going to see what comes up out of this. But uh, I can tell you what America means to me. It's the red, white, and blue. It's waking up every morning in a country that I know I'm free in, knowing that it's not a socialist or communist country, knowing that I've got a job to go to, knowing I've got a roof over my head. Like I said, freedom. That's the, when I think of America and what it means to me, that's, that's the first thing I think of, freedom. We're not oppressed here. I don't care what anybody says. It, it doesn't matter what skin color you are. It doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter what gender you are. If you live in America, the only reason you can be oppressed is by your own doing. You, everybody's got every opportunity to pull their self up by the bootstraps and make something of themselves. So, no, it's freedom. That's, that's what I think of the most when I think of America. Uh, like I said, you, you can't live in America and be oppressed. If you are, it's, it's your own fault. It, it's straight up your own fault. You know, depressed, that's a different story. Oppressed, you bring it on yourself. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and make it better. If you live in a city that's crappy, move. If you got a crappy job, change it. If you got a crappy wife, a crappy husband, somebody that doesn't love you, somebody that's taking advantage of you, change it. Get out of it. You are the captain of your own fate. Nobody can make you do anything that you don't want to do. Stand up for yourself. Dig your heels in and say enough is enough. But yeah, once again, when I think of America and what it means to me, one more freedom. So I'm putting that out there for anybody that wants to answer it. Like I said, like this video, you repost it, you comment on it, and let's see how far this goes and see who else is standing up for America, because I know I am. I'm tired of it. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll be talking to you.